This is an update video for the LT Transition Modeling Project that uh, Brandon McDougall and myself have been undertaking um, with the, uh, the transition model provided by LT UAS. So you can see now we've got the logos on the plane and we now have the control surfaces uh, moving properly and the motor's spinning. And I thought I'd, I'd run through some of the, the features of uh, what we can do with this model. And um, I'll just uh, zoom in a little bit here and show you, first of all, what happens when you run a motor test. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run all four motors for two seconds each. And you can see that um, it uh, spins the motors appropriately in the right direction. So it's you really can sort of go through the full setup of the model just as you would uh, on the real aircraft. And if I pop it into manual mode and arm the throttle, then um, I can spin up the forward engine and uh, it spins appropriately. So uh, what I'm going to do now is um, I'm just going to put it back to sort of the normal view and then we're going to um, uh, take it off in Q loiter initially and just do a spin around of the aircraft and then I'll land it and do a fully automatic mission. So what I'm going to do is pop it into Q loiter mode and um, then arm the motors and uh, just lift it up a little bit off the ground. So there it is. All right. And now we can uh, rotate it around a little bit so you can see what it looks like. And really, Brandon's done a lovely job of modeling the aircraft. All right. So I'm um, now going to bring it down to the ground again. and disarm it. So now what I'm going to do is uh, do a fully automatic takeoff and mission. So I've just got a, a little circuit mission which will then come back and do a automatic VTOL landing at the end. And uh, so I'm going to start by popping it into auto mode and then I'm going to arm the throttle and it'll take off and start transitioning uh, for a automatic mission. And when it gets to 10 metres, it starts the forward motor, and off she goes. There it is, heading off on the automatic flight. And it's going to fly a, a circuit or two here, um, and we can uh, look in a little bit to see what it looks like in the air. And you do actually see things like the propellers spinning a little bit. We could turn on brake mode on those ESCs, which would uh, ensure that they didn't spin uh, during flight like this. At the moment, they're just getting into the aerodynamic wash and starting to spin a little bit, which is often what happens on a lot of quad planes. Um, I haven't actually checked with LT whether they use brake or use magnets to ensure they don't spin, so I, I should check on that and make that match in the... Um, um, in the model. So what I'm going to do now is um, I'm going to um, tell it to come back and do an automatic landing. So what it's going to do is start heading back towards the um, uh, the landing field. So it's going to head over here and uh, then turn around and approach and it's going to approach the uh, the landing point from the south. What it's going to do is lower its altitude a fair bit for this this turn. I've got it doing a low approach. It's a nice big open field we're flying in, so there's really no reason to do a higher approach. And one thing you'll notice is when it does the transition, it will pop up and gain a fair bit of altitude. And that's one of the things that uh, I'm planning to uh, reduce for the next release. So you see here it starts the transition. And it pops up and it gains quite a bit of altitude there. Uh, about uh, 10 or 15 meters, about 10 meters in that case. So now it's repositioning itself above the landing point and it's just got another three or four meters to go. Then it'll start descending. Another thing I want to do is change the, have an option for changing the landing profile so that it comes down in an arc. 
so rather than going along and then straight down it'll come down you'll have an option to be able to make it come down in an arc which will save battery and I think that'll produce a more elegant landing but uh, that's for a, a future version so there it is coming down to land And it should disarm. There you go. So I um, hope you've enjoyed that. Um, thank you very much again to Brandon and to Alti for helping us create this model. And I uh, hope that people uh, flying quad planes with Pilot will get a great deal of enjoyment out of it.